Hello and welcome. Ever wanted to boost the performance of your computer? I have. And to do this, I have installed a solid state drive in the ASUS all in one PC behind me. And I've shown you how to do this over the last few videos. But now I want to crank even more power out of this PC. And to do that, I'm going to use a video editing suite to boost the PC's performance. So let's get over to the screen and I'll show you how. This ASUS all-in-one PC came with this pre-installed Energy Intelligent program and it allows me to monitor the amount of watts this PC is using and it also allows me to boost the power and so speed up this computer. When the round symbol is green, I can't work with or edit 4K video, but when it is coloured blue, I can. Obviously, this app is allowing more power to be delivered to the PC's processor and probably the graphics card, so making the random access memory work harder. This explanation is an oversimplification of what is actually happening. I have played with the dark arts of overclocking and I think I have come up with a better solution. I'm going to use Nero Platinum 2019 Photo Editing Suite to boost my PC's performance. If you don't have Nero Platinum 19 installed on your computer don't worry i'll give you a link in the description where you can download a free 28 days trial version of this program download it install it and then click on the desktop icon there are many functions you can use nero platinum 19 for but today i'm just going to explore Nero Tune It Up. Left click on the Nero Tune It Up icon and you are taken to this screen. I have the basic program installed but you can upgrade to the professional features. The basic version provides you with all you need to optimize the performance of your PC. It's giving me basic information such as the temperature of the CPU. It's telling me that I can boost the startup speed by 14% if I change some settings. And that I can save 33.5 gigabytes of storage space on this drive. If I left click on display and resolve, I'm brought into this screen. Then by clicking on the automatically optimize icon, anything that can be optimized will be checked. Nero will then check and allow you to delete, if you want to, unnecessary files, internet history, it will empty your recycle bin, clean your registry edits, it has an uninstall wizard, multimedia data management and a mobile cleaner. You can then click on the information icon and choose what you want to keep or delete before clicking the delete icon. Then it is simply a matter of repeating the process until all the icons turn green. Now I'm going to digress for a moment I'm going to minimize this Nero screen. Now I have a solid state drive on this PC, so I don't need to do this next process. But if you still are using a hard drive, then go to File Explorer, then go to your C drive and right click, then Properties, use the Tool tab, the Optimize tab and then defrag your C drive. Now Nero Tune It Up has cleaned up your computer, we're going to speed it up. 
by clicking on the high speed mode button. As you're watching the high speed mode button turn yellow, you probably haven't noticed that the energy intelligence app has turned red and it's now showing that this PC is using more power. And although it's using more power, one process has closed, three services have been deactivated, 24.7 megabytes of extra RAM have been freed up. The power profile is high performance and 47 process priorities have been lowered. So has this made any difference to this PC's performance? Yes, it has. And the best way to prove this is by using 4K video editing to show you how this PC is performing. And it's not just this PC that's performing better by using this program. All the PCs that I have installed this program on run better when this program is activated. I have clicked on the Nero Platinum 19 icon. Now I'm clicking on the Nero video icon. When the program loads, I'm going to click on make advanced movie. As this page loads, I'm moving the cursor up to the top right hand corner where I'm going to use a drop down to import video. This video clip is only about 20 seconds long, but it is ultra high 4K video. I'm dragging and dropping it onto timeline 2. I'm going to the option drop down and I'm clicking on movie options. As you can see, I have the 4K movie option highlighted and I'm using 25 frames per second. I'm going back to the option Drop down, I'm going to click on application settings Then I've clicked on editing and I've come across to where it says enable background rendering. And if you notice, there's nothing ticked in the box. Background rendering can help you if your computer is struggling working with high quality video. But with my new SSD and using Nero tune it up, I don't need to use this setting anymore and I can have the quality performance slider set to maximum so that the image that I'm working with in the editing screen is crystal clear. I'm going to use some heavy duty video editing settings on this 20 second clip of high quality 4K video. The first video effect I'm going to use is video stabilization, which I'm going to drag and drop onto the timeline. As you can see, although I've introduced an effect onto this 4K video, it is still playing smoothly. This video was taken freehand in the Coppermine Valley, which is in the Lake District in England and Nero is making a good job at stabilising it. The next effect I'm going to drag and drop to the timeline is the slow and fast motion effect. Nero is warning me that the soundtrack will be deleted in this setting and I'm clicking OK to that. I am using the slow motion slider to adjust the speed of the video. Now I'm going to click on the play icon and I'm going to watch the video in the video editing screen. And as you can see, the video is playing in slow motion and it isn't dropping any frames. It's playing very smoothly. And with this setting and the previous setting, both being on this one piece of video clip, this editing suite is working hard. Now I'm just adjusting the length of this video so it plays for exactly 30 seconds. And then I'm going to export this video and keep that in mind that it's 30 seconds of video. Once I click export, 
Neva wants to know if I want to save this project. I'm going to say no to that and I'm going to go then into the next screen. This screen tells me that I'm going to render this in 4K content and I'm going to hit the browse button and then give the file a name. And the name I'm going to give it is test. Then I'm going to come down to the export icon and when I click on that I have the option whether I want to abort which obviously I don't and then Nero is going to think about what's going on and it'll give me an estimated time that it thinks this program is going to take for it to render. With the settings that I have on this video it's going to take 16 times the length of this video to fully render this material. Now if I was working with Blu-ray quality video it would only take a fraction of the time, about two minutes for this to render. Now with the magic of video editing I'm going to jump forward in time. Nero is telling me that the export process completed successfully. I am taken back to the Nero project that we have just been working on and I'm going to downsize this screen and I'm going to go looking for the file that has been rendered. And I can see the thumbnail being generated and I'm going to click to play that video. And I hope you would agree that the video is playing smoothly. When I had a hard drive on this PC, on occasions when I was doing some heavy video editing, the PC program would crash. So what do I know now? For me, Tune It Up is better than overclocking and the SSD has improved the performance of my PC considerably. The video has stopped playing I'm going to return to my desktop to show you a program that will give you a benchmark of the quality of my PC. Now my PC isn't wonderful but with these settings and with an SSD it is. Now I've shown you this program before it's called Win464 and it's given me all the information that I need on this four-year-old ASUS PC. It's telling me that I have an Intel i7 processor, that I've got a Samsung SSD 860 EVO, I've got 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, and I've got an AMD Radon graphics card. Remember, this is a four-year-old PC with one major upgrade, a Samsung SSD, making light work of 4K editing with the help of TuneItup. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking on the top left end screen. If you want to know how to use Samsung Magician program to boost your PC's performance, click on the top right end screen and you will be taken to that video. Thank you for watching.